Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series today we are going to solve one very interesting rational equations. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. As you can see, denominator cannot be zero. So I will write x cannot be equal to five as well as cannot be equal to seven also. So we will reject 5 and 7 from its real values domain. Now I will multiply as it is non-zero. So I will multiply this equation with the denominator x minus 5 times x minus 7. So equation will convert 504 minus x plus 4 x plus 6 times x minus 5 times x minus 7 equal to 0. After multiplication, we will get 0. Right hand side is 0. So, product will be 0. Multiply this equation with minus 1. So, I will get the second term will come out first. So, x plus 4, x plus 6, x minus 5, x minus 7, minus 504 equal to 0. Now, if you will take the product, I won't make this quartic. So, once you will take the product of x plus 4 with x plus 6, there won't be any substitution. x square plus 10x plus 24, x square minus 12x plus 35. So, no substitution is possible. So, what I will do, I will consider the first and third bracket altogether, these two. See what will happen x plus 4, x minus 5 and then the remaining two x plus 6, x minus 7 minus 504 equal to 0. Let's take the product one by one. So I will write here x square minus 5x plus 4x. So minus x. 4 times minus 5 minus 20. Bracket closed second bracket these two terms product x times x x is square x times minus 7 minus 7x seven 6 times x 6x six so overall minus 7x plus 6x six minus x six. 6 times minus 7 minus 42 minus 504 equal to 0 now you can see substitution is possible now x square minus x, x square minus x. So let us consider x square minus x is equal to t. Okay. So this equation will convert into, I will write t minus 20 in first bracket and t minus 42 we will write as second bracket. Minus 504 equal to 0. Okay, remember our substitution is x square minus x. We will put back at last. So let us solve. How we will solve this? Let's expand. So t square minus 42t minus 20t. So minus 62t. Minus 20 times minus 42. So plus 840. 42 times 2 is 84. One more zero minus 504 equal to 0. Now 840 minus 504 is 336. So equation will become t square minus 62t plus 336. Let me write here t square minus 62t plus 336 equal to 0. Now I won't use Sridharachara formula, the quadratic formula. I will use the central term splitting. So I will split this minus 52 in terms of the factors of 336. So if you will see 56 times 6. So it is 336. So I will split 62 as 56 plus 6. So let me write t square minus 56t minus 60 
प्लस थ्री थ्री सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो लेट्स टेक टी कॉमन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स सो टी माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस सिक्स कॉमन फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टी माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टी माइनस सिक्स इज ओवरऑल कॉमन t minus 56 what is left t minus 6 equal to 0 so we are having two solutions t is equal to 6 and t is equal to 56 remember our substitution it will come now our substitution was x square minus x equal to t this was our substitution let's put over here the value of t So I will write x square minus x is equal to six and fifty-six. So I will frame from here two equations: x square minus x is equal to six, and second equation x square minus x is equal to fifty-six. So take all the term to left. X square minus x minus six is equal to zero. This is our first quadratic equation. And second equation is x square minus x minus fifty six equal to zero. Second quadratic equation. We will solve both the equations for our solution. So let me write here x square minus x minus six equal to zero. Let me consider first quadratic, and then we will take up x square minus x minus fifty six equal to zero. That is our second equation. Let me solve. The very first equation first. X is equal to minus b, so minus of minus one one plus minus square root b square minus one square one minus four ac so plus twenty four divided by two a so two one plus minus square root twenty five over two. Now we know that. Square root twenty five is five over two. So from here we can write two solutions: one plus five over two, or with minus sign, one minus five over two. One plus five is six over two. That means three. One minus five over two. That means minus four over two. That means minus two. So two solutions are here. Now come to the other quadratic equation, second one. From there we will get two more. So let me apply quadratic formula again. Minus b, so plus one, plus minus square root b square, minus one square one, minus four ac, so plus two to four. Four times fifty six is two hundred twenty four. Over two a, so two. Now I can write one plus square root two to five. Over two, and we know that square root two twenty five is fifteen. So I will write plus minus fifteen over two. So again, two values are possible: one plus fifteen over two, one minus fifteen over two. One plus fifteen means sixteen over two. That means eight. One minus fifteen minus fourteen over two minus seven. So far, we have calculated. four solutions the complete solution set now i will verify all four 3 minus 2 8 and negative 7 let's check whether there are any extraneous solution or not okay let's verify let me write here verification first value is x is equal to 3 Okay, let's put over there five zero four over three minus five minus two, three minus seven minus four, minus three plus four seven, three plus six nine. So it is five zero four over eight minus sixty three seven nine just sixty three. Once you will divide, you will get sixty three again. So zero, which is our right RHS right hand side. So value is verified. Come to the second value, x is equal to negative two. Okay, let's put five zero four over negative seven 
टाइम्स नेगेटिव नाइन माइनस नेगेटिव टू प्लस फोर सो टू नेगेटिव टू प्लस सिक्स फोर दिस वी विल गेट फाइव जीरो फोर ओवर सिक्सटी थ्री माइनस एट दिस इज टू टाइम्स फोर सो एट वंस यू विल डिवाइड यू विल गेट एट अगेन हेयर एट सो एट माइनस एट इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो वेरीफाइड कम टू द थर्ड वैल्यू दैट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट If I will put over there five zero four divided by eight minus five three eight minus seven one minus this is minus sign okay minus eight plus four twelve eight plus six fourteen twelve times fourteen is one sixty eight and this value is one sixty eight so value will be zero this is also true verified. Last value we are checking that is minus seven. If I will put over there five zero four over minus twelve times minus seven minus seven minus fourteen, same values we are getting. Third value as it is. Now minus seven plus four minus three minus seven plus six minus one. So this value is three minus. Denominator is one sixty eight. Numerator is five zero four. If you will divide five zero four with one sixty eight, you will get three. So three minus three is zero. This is also true and verified. So our final solution becomes and verified also three negative two eight and negative seven. I hope this video you will like. do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video please take care of yourself bye bye